Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we're taking a look at Cade Gordon. Before we get started though of course make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes and I'll make sure to get a look at them. Now, Cade Gordon, 16 years old at Liverpool Football Club, came from Derby where he actually made a first team appearance for them uh, as well at such a young age. Can play either either wing on left or right and can even play up top or just behind the striker as well. Um, looks a very good player already and at 16 years old hopefully there is plenty of room for growth. Currently on a youth contract at Liverpool. If we take a look at his attributes how will he look to progress? So 94 current ability is pretty damn good for a 16 year old and it with the potential to rise up to 166 he could be very very good. So with that let's jump 10 years on and take a look at how he can develop for the side. And here we are, 10 years on. Cade Gordon now at 26, so just into his prime years, has really started to develop as a player. Um, some positioning-wise, he can play slightly deeper on either side and has really slotted into those roles as a striker or attacking midfielder as well. Uh, and we can see his physicals, his technicals, some lovely first touch, composure there, and his natural fitness is very, very good as well. So looking like he's developed quite well. Uh, let's take a look at his career, though. So obviously moved to Liverpool from Derby in Actually, uh, was on loan to Huddersfield for this, a season in the championship where he scored five goals and got one assist in 41 appearances. So not amazing, but not too bad. Uh, he obviously performed quite well in those games. Uh, did make an appearance for Liverpool, though, in the next season, but only the one before another loan move to Huddersfield in the championship where it didn't quite perform as well, didn't get as much game time. Uh, and then a couple more games for Liverpool did follow, but... It didn't really work out for him there. A move to Al Ali in Saudi Arabia for £7 million is, is an interesting move for sure. But it certainly looks like he performed a lot better out there. Uh, eight goals and six goals and six assists and nine assists kind of show that. Um, along with that, he, he also performed pretty well in the season after before a £6 million move to Brighton where he is now. Um, but again, kind of dropped off on form. So, I mean, he really, really shone in Saudi Arabia, as you'd probably expect for a player like him. Uh, milestones wise, let's look at the competitions. Nothing massive, really. Um, one trophies with Liverpool, but I don't know if they're really worth it. Uh, under 21 cap against Estonia for England um, was Asian Champions League runners up as well. But again, nothing too amazing. Um, was in the Champions League dream team. In Asia uh, last year, so that's that's a pretty decent one. Uh, otherwise, it's team of the weeks and best elevens as always. Um, so yeah, not not incredible. Um, I have to say, it's a little bit disappointing. Let's take a look at his attributes and see how he's got on there. So he hasn't reached his potential. I don't know if he will either. Really, um, I think it's just the limited game time at higher level that's really cost him at there 139 current ability still very good but still not that 166 six that he could have got to um which is a shame considering he could have been a hell of a player but with that we will leave it there let me know how he gets on in your saves maybe he has performed a lot better and got to a level that could be a world beater but he's currently just sat at brighton in the premier league but with that, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. And I'll catch you in the next one.